the Earth, a planet in this universe. Seven billion people, nearly 200 countries, 150 languages, and over a thousand cultures. We all need to communicate. In the 18th century, countries within Europe expanded empire, joining colonialism. One of the countries was Great Britain, the country where the sun never sets. After years, English became a natural international language. This is footage of a lesson in a normal Swedish school. In 1993, Miss Barbara Bergström came up with a better way of teaching. She started the International English School in Sweden. This school would have strict rules to ensure a better working environment, where teachers can teach and students can learn. 20 years later, three ninth graders were set on a mission to investigate in how the students and teacher thinks about the school. The greatest difference between normal schools and the international English school is the rules. That's a good way to start. If there were one rule you could remove, what rule would you remove? The dress code. Why? Personally, I think it's pretty silly that you're not allowed to wear shorts or a skirt or something, even though we have leggings underneath. So, I mean, it's not like you're showing anything. And the bra straps, if you can show it. That's pretty yeah. ridiculous too. Yeah. There was a building added where about 300 new students moved in. These new st students now have to share haven with the rest of the school. What do you think about the haven? I think it's too small when the new grades come. Okay. Yeah. This also had effect on the gym that stayed the same, thought it already was small. Now classes start before the other ends. What do you think about the uh, resources like equipment and working space on, in the school? With regards to PE, yeah. I think this is a fantastic gymnasium. What does slightly frustrate me is, for example, you guys are lucky, you're in ninth grade, so you get the whole gymnasium to yourself, but there's, for example, some eighth grade classes where we have to bring the wall down and they share the class with another class, so they get quite frustrated. But when we're using the whole space, it's fantastic. And also we get a budget for our PE equipment, so we get lots of money that we can buy new equipment. So we're very happy with the facilities here. This spring, an investigation showed that our school gave the lowest grades in Sweden on the national test compared to the other schools. It gives you lower grades than you would get in another school. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's bad, because it's harder to get good grades. What do you think about the grading system at our school? Uh, I know that our school gives a lower grade than the standard, but I think it's a plus and minus side of that. The minus side is for the people who have it a bit harder or something. They, in another school, they should have deserved an A maybe, but in this school they got a B, because our grading system is gives lower grade than standard, so that's the minor side of it. Uh, the plus side is encourage you to drive you harder to get a higher grade, and also you gain more knowledge when you and gain more exper like knowledge when you get into gymnasium. You know more stuff than the other schools maybe because you, to get an A you had to know this, but the other school didn't have to know this. So the unfair grading might be due to good academic quality. What has ISP done to your grades? Uh, I didn't have grades before, so I don't know, but I feel like I'm more ambitious in this school than I was in the other school because um, this has higher pressure to it, and that might be good. How do you think the grades, the students' grades, have changed during their time at this school? Well, I hope that the students' grades have improved. 
I know that they have because we have dedicated a very good team of dedicated teachers and we try as far as possible to inspire our students to work and do their very best and work their hardest. Along with the fact that we, because we have streaming in, for instance, mathematics, uh, this means that students get an opportunity to experience even more advanced uh, topics being covered than in a regular uh, Swedish school. So, and then of course add to that the advantage of having English in their teaching, uh, which they can use when they get to university level. I would say that our students are uh, at a very, very great advantage. What do you think about the academic quality at ISP? Well, I believe that the academic quality at ISP is very, very good because the content that uh, students actually receive in, the, in ISP is really, really rich. For example, students who've been at ISP have come back after joining the gymnasium and claim that they really have, are having it easy because of the knowledge content that they received in ISP. We also want to know how the teachers feel about the students. What do you think about the students at ISB? Yes, I think that respect is very important. By giving respect, you get respect. And that's very nice. The teachers are also an important part of the learning. What do you think about the teachers at ISP? I think about the teachers at ISP that many of the teachers are quite good. There are, of course, exceptions to every rule. But most of them are uh, fine, good teachers. You learn a lot. And yeah. So there we have it. Evil thought the working space might be small and the grading is unfair. The students still seem to like the school and get good grades. After all, you could probably tell this is a good school with motivated and happy teachers and students.